Next up in our series of football skills is our bounce. Whether we're using our bounce to drill hand-eye coordination and work on building ball sense in our younger players or using it for evasive action at adult level in order to maintain position, we can gain more than we think from looking at our bounce. If we look at it from a couple of different points of view such as how am I bouncing the ball, where am I bouncing it from and where in the game am I using it and applying it and am I applying it in the correct way, we can gain more than we think. Starting off working on building hand-eye coordination with our players, using a ball that's relative to the stage of development our player is at, we can gain an awful lot from a two-handed bounce off the ground and receiving the ball back into two hands again from a static position. From here, next step would be to get us closer to transitioning into bouncing on the move. So, placing my player a yard or two back from the wall, we bounce off the ground first, getting our player used to bouncing the ball in front of them, so it'll feed off the wall and back into two hands. From here, we're looking to move towards moving. Once we've mastered this and we're comfortable on the ball, we want to work towards moving. So walking, what I would get my players to do is I would get my players to hold the ball in two hands, shift it to one hand, bounce in front of them, and catch back into two hands, forming that M that we use for our pickup to receive the ball back into two hands and pull it back into position. We work this both sides, moving up towards jogging and moving up towards a full sprint, gaining close control, pulling the ball back into my person. It's important to be able to bounce off both sides, as if a player is coming towards me and I spot a gap left or right, I can bounce with the outside hand and keep the defender furthest away from the ball, making it easier for me to maintain possession. Starting off at the very early stages, we want to keep the margin for error low, so we want to bounce from rib height or hip height. As we move on then, in order to gain more yards, we may be able to bounce from higher to allow us to gain more ground on the bounce. But again, keeping the margin for error low with my younger players, we're building close control, and then the game will allow our players to add their individual style to what they're doing, but our key teaching points remain the same.